It's live from last week, episode 28. Let's go! Welcoming my fellow jaywalkers to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Before we go on, I got a quick shameless plug. Be sure to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. Anyways, now that that's over, gotta tell you guys that I had a pretty busy night shift last night. And usually to cope, I go on a shopping spree. So that is why I am here. And to be honest, I had a mad craving for some breakfast food. And just a semi quote, a famous animal from a movie, I'm getting waffles. But anyways, I don't know if you still remember this segment from last week's episode. After each scheduled night shift, I'll open one package for you guys. Well, I just got off my third shift in four nights, and I guess it's time to open up a new package for my mini. Smooth black butter. Time to cut this black butter. And ta-da! Oh man, the fiance is gonna kill me for getting all these gifts for the mini and not for her. So this little placemat is for all my people who might forget just what kind of car this is. But yeah, I guess it's time to sleep because I've got my fourth night shift in five nights coming up tonight. And I guess that I'll just see you guys tomorrow. So after yet another busy and stressful night shift, I've come to a place that I always go to whenever I have a hectic shift like this one. And here we are again at Eggsmart. So usually I come here to debrief, have breakfast, and feel a little bit better on how hectic and busy our night shift was. But what I actually did today instead was debrief in my car with one of my coworkers, Jason, on his very first mini carpool. All right, let's go. I can hold it. I can hold it. I'm gonna work on it, like, like vlogging later on today. <laughs> All right, Jason, how did you like your first mini it was, commute? It was amazing, bro. <laughs> so thank you for, for the drive. It's and great. I just saved him 30 minutes on his commute. Awesome. Boom! <laughs> thank Later, you, man. Thank you, thank you, bro. No problem, Kapit Bahai. Kapit Bahai. So, Jason, I hope that you enjoyed the smooth ride of the Mini, and I hope to carpool with you again in the future. But for now, as I promised, I have another gift for the Mini that I'm gonna open for you guys. So, let's see what it is. Boom! Another mini phone holder for my mini. Perfect. Woo, it works. Boo, 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 boo. So after dropping the fiance off at work for her night shift tonight and using my new mini cell phone holder, I've realized that I've only slept just over two hours post night shift earlier today. Meaning I'll probably call it an early night tonight. But before I do, I want to go over a couple of milestones that I had yesterday. Such as driving the Mini in rainy and windy conditions. And I don't know if you could tell by this video, but the hail was really pouring yesterday afternoon. Where did you see it? And the other milestone that I had? Look at how long my hair is. I mean, I'm able to finally put it in a ponytail for the first time in my life. So after picking up the fiance from work this morning, we're heading to the cemetery. We're gonna visit my Lola for Canada today. So, after finally being able to take a nap this afternoon, we can quickly go over all the Canada Day birthday greetings that I have for you guys this year. First, I want to wish a happy birthday to Palumbo. Happy birthday, Dave. This guy's a diehard Ottawa Senators fan who always made it known to us when we were in high school. And I'm also remembering the times I had with you in Mr. Merlano's class back in the day. Anyways, Dave, hope you're doing well, hope you're staying safe, and I hope you have a happy birthday. Next birthday greeting is for Kira. Happy birthday, Kira. I remember when I first started working and you were working on the south side and I was working on the north side. 
and we would see each other every so often when I'd go and get some ice from the ice machine. Anyways, Kira, hope you're doing well, hope you're staying safe and healthy, and I hope that you had a happy birthday. Next birthday greeting is from one of my coworkers, Nick. Happy birthday, Nick. Although I don't work with you because you work days and I work nights, every Christmas we would always have a staff party and I'd have a drink or two with you at the bar. Anyways, Nick, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy, and I hope that you have a happy birthday as well. Next birthday greeting is for one of my childhood friends, Paulette. Happy birthday, Paulette. I'm remembering playing Little League Baseball with you when we were younger, as well as playing basketball with you on the Good Shepherd Playgrounds. Anyways, Paulette, I see you and your family are doing well. Hope you're staying safe and healthy out there, and I hope you have a happy birthday. Last but not least, I have a happy birthday greeting to Dom. Happy birthday, dudes. This guy has always been a role model and a leader and someone that I've always looked up to all my life. From his athletics background, to playing volleyball, to his sense of humor. Anyways dudes, hope you're doing well, hope you're staying safe and healthy out there, and I'm wishing you a happy birthday. But now, it's time to have some dinner, take a quick nap, and go in for my first of my two night shifts tonight. So, as usual, I wasn't able to sleep in between night shifts yet again. So I decided to get up without waking the fiancé, get myself comfy and lie down on the couch, and I was able to watch some of the Spain versus Switzerland action this afternoon. And instead of going back to sleep today, I decided to watch the second game of the day, Italy versus Belgium. His teammates lying down on the ground chilling and he's like, boom, in the corner. I don't care if you're on the ground. I'm not gonna score a goal. And now that it's halftime, I looked outside the window and it looks like it's storming out. So hopefully the weather will clear up and I'll be able to go into work for my second of my two night shifts safely. But before I do, I have another package for my mini that I'm gonna open up for you guys, as promised. Let's see what it is. Ta-da! Yet another sticker to personalize my mini just a little bit more. So, I'm just chilling in the parking lot of No Frills after doing six night shifts in eight days. And as promised, I got another package for my mini that we're gonna open up today. So I'm just gonna use my mini phone holder here and have it hold my phone while I open that package. I don't even know what this is. Oh, I know what this is. So basically, it's a sticker that helps prevent scuffs and marks on the bottom ledge slash step of the back door. So maybe I might install this later on today. We shall see. So, it's my first time being in a mall since the pandemic has started. At the Apple Store at Markville Mall. After like what? Two and a half to three hours of sleep post night shift? Mainly because my phone decided to stop uploading videos to iCloud. Meaning that my phone isn't able to store any more videos for my Jaywalker POV segments. Which is crucial for this channel. So let's get this baby fixed. Wow, so after 50 minutes inside Apple, we came to no solutions. Uh, they just told me to back up all my photos, factory reset my phone, and go from there. So basically, something that I could have done at home. So for now, thumbs down for this experience. Oh my God. Spent more than $1,000 on a phone and it doesn't even work. Stupid iCloud. So instead of getting all upset about the situation, I decided to go and eat all my negative feelings away. So the fiancé and I went to a local hawker place called Spicy Dragon. A place where we usually go to get their chili chicken and their hawker noodles. We then went to a local park to enjoy the food. And also got a glimpse of a cricket match going on in the background. We decided to drive around with the mini for a little bit longer and go visit one of my cousins. Yeah, she's like, yeah, like, like a white baby. Gentle. Good. Oh, <laughs> Say hi. Thumbs up. <laughs> Photo bomb. Photo bomb. Yeah. Yeah, so, so Say here you go. No. Oh no, it's oh. photo. <laughs> 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 Next, we took the mini through Greek Town to check out all the patios that were open tonight. And also checked out the sunset and the beautiful scenery of downtown Toronto from Riverdale Park. We then wrapped up the night by getting some Frosties and some fries. Pretty good. 
But anyways, before we wrap up this very eventful evening, I have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys. First, I want to wish a happy birthday to my Tita Edna. Happy birthday, Tita Edna. I'm remembering the numerous potlucks and the celebrations for Michaela and Tristan's birthdays over the years, as well as dressing up as a minion to surprise you guys that one year. Anyways, Tita Edna, hope you're doing well, hope you're staying healthy, and say hi to the family for me. And one more birthday greeting I have for today is for one of the people that are featured in several of my Jay Walker POV videos. And this guy, his name you ask, is Mac. Happy birthday, Mac. This guy has been a mainstay on several of my Skate Toronto videos. Having all the skateboarding talent and landing kickflips like it's nothing. But yeah, anyways Mac, hope you're doing well, hope you're still skating out there, and hopefully in the near future, we'll go out and skateboard together and make some more videos again. So after literally getting the best sleep I've had in months, like look at this, over 9 hours of sleep last night. My body's feeling pretty heavy, probably from not realizing that it overslept. But anyways, I feel a little bit more well rested before I go in for my night shift tonight. So since I have some time before I go into work, I'm gonna do what Apple told me to do last night and back up all my photos from my iCloud into my laptop. And after I do that, gonna do a factory reset of my phone and see if iCloud will finally work after that. And before I go in for my seventh shift in 10 nights, I have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. First of all, I want to wish a happy birthday to one of my old co-workers, Emily. Happy birthday, Em. I'm missing the times that we would work together as well as the parties and hangouts that we would have at your apartment. And also the Nelly concert that we went to a couple years back. I'm remembering those times too. Anyways, Em, hope you're doing well. Hope you're staying safe and healthy out there. And I hope that you have a happy birthday. Next birthday greeting is for an old classmate of mine, Amy. Happy birthday, Amy. I'm remembering years ago when we used to attend classes at Ryerson. All the way to the present where I see you growing with your nice, young, beautiful family. Anyways, Amy, hope you're doing well. Hope you're staying healthy out there. And I hope that your family spoil you for your birthday this year. Last but not least, I have a birthday greeting to one of my beach volleyball friends, Marie. Happy birthday, Marie. I'm remembering first meeting you back at one of the beach volleyball tournaments years ago as well as being one of your indoor volleyball teammates subbing in for you guys every so often. Anyways, Marie, hope to see you on the beach this summer. Hope that you had a happy birthday and I hope you're staying safe and healthy out there. So after a stretch of doing seven night shifts in 10 nights, I finally have a stretch of two nights straight that I have off. So in order to celebrate, I decided to treat myself to a gift or two or even three. So this morning I checked my mailbox and I actually have three packages in the mail for me. Some for myself, some for the fiance, some for the mini. And I think after these night shifts, I definitely deserve to open them up. So let's go check what's in these babies today. Really? More smaller packages coming out of a big package again? In case you didn't know, it's a fiance in my anniversary today. So time to put these little tidbits in a gift bag and give them to the fiance for an anniversary gift. So we'll be going out to a local restaurant and taking videos of that in a little bit.
So, I don't know if you could tell, but the Ethiopian food that we had earlier was amazing. And the other thing that's amazing is that the fiance actually appreciated the gift that I got her. She appreciated it so much that she actually allowed me to use it. Mwahaha, <laughs> my plan worked. <laughs> and an even better part is that afterwards, she treated us to some kung fu tea. Not bad for a ninth anniversary celebration. But yeah, I guess that wraps up this week's episode. So, if you've enjoyed what you've watched, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.